So today we will see how to implement chaining with replacement. So for that we will try inserting these particular elements in our hash table. So our table has 10 buckets for now so our function will be mod 10. So 21 comes in at position number 1, 21 mod 10 is 1, 41 is checked for collision at the first, okay, first index, it is colliding so we linearly probe it to the second location and we update the chain field, okay, we update the chain field of the previous element belonging to the same bucket as 41 because 21 and 41 should have belonged to the same bucket that is 1, so we update 21's chain field to be two okay that is the index where it is inserted right now then comes in 32 now in case of chaining without replacement we would we would have inserted it at the next location but in case of chaining with replacement we'll first check okay uh, initially 32 mod 10 is 2 so we'll move to the second bucket we'll check if this particular element actually belongs to the same bucket 41 doesn't belong to the same bucket as number 2 because 41 originally belongs to bucket number 1 but it has been linearly probed over here so we'll have to delete this particular record okay we'll replace it by the valid record belonging to the same bucket and we'll probe the value which we deleted to some other location in our table so 41 will be probed to the third location and the chain field of bucket 1 will again be updated as the newest location okay then comes in 42 it comes in over here we'll have to chain it to the previous element so we'll chain it likewise then 72 comes in we move to the bucket number 4. We check 52 doesn't belong to bucket number 4. We delete this particular record. We insert 74 over here. Set its chain field to minus 1. Then we linearly probe the value which we deleted. So 52 will be linearly probed and its chain, okay, its chain will be updated. So what do we have to do? We will first uh, calculate the initial hash value for each and every element to be inserted we'll check if that particular uh, if at that particular position our hash table is empty we'll insert it as we did last time chaining without replacement okay if it is not empty then we'll check if the data at that position belongs to the same bucket as that of the key if it doesn't we'll replace Okay, we'll delete that particular record and we'll insert our key into it and then we'll again insert the record which we deleted. So we have to uh, you make use of deletion and two times insertion in this case. We've already implemented insertion and deletion functions. So this particular thing will be easier to implement. So we'll write a function for that. Def chain let's call it chain replace we'll pass key as parameter key to be inserted now just the way we did in our insert function the initial thing will be same we are calculating a hash value key mod b we are checking if it is none we are inserting it else else we'll check if the value at that particular position if the data at that particular position mod buckets is equal to equal to key mod buckets meaning if they belong to the same bucket what will we do we'll just call our chain insert function for that key else that particular data belongs to a different bucket so what do we do we delete it we insert our key and we insert the, uh, the value which we deleted. So for that, we'll have to store that value, which we have to delete. So we'll store that value in any variable. Let's name it x. We'll store it. We'll call for a delete operation for x. Then we'll call for an insert operation for our key. 
and then we'll again insert our x into the table here we also could have called chain insert for key same thing as we've already implemented insertion and deletion functions so they handle the chain operations the chain updation operations very well so we need not worry about that we have implemented a very simple function for that and we'll okay we'll update our loop one is for chaining without replacement then we'll go for two for chaining with replacement we'll copy this particular thing and we'll make another condition that is for second condition if they want to in, uh, if the user wants to insert for chaining with replacement and just the case we'll call chain replace over here okay and now we'll run we'll directly go for chaining with replacement insert 32 then 42 52 62 okay now i'll go uh, i'll insert some element where we have the bucket uh, where we have the value of a different bucket so this or this okay let's try inserting 44 into the table so what should happen 52 should be deleted its chains will be updated by a delete function that will be well taken care of and 42 will be inserted at this particular position then 52 will be linearly probed over here and chains will be updated and yes it did so that's it for this video thank you for watching